Hello there and uh, welcome to the final video of our room library tutorial series. So in this video I want to show you how you can uh, delete a single user from the database and how you can delete uh, everything from your uh, database table, okay? So, uh, so far our application works perfectly fine. And uh, our project structure uh, looks uh, clean and nice. So we have our data package, we have fragments, model, repository and uh, view model. So everything is uh, separated and uh, looks clean. Okay, so uh, first what we're going to do, uh, we need to add uh, one icon. So let's type here delete and uh, let's add uh, this one. So click OK, OK, click next and uh, finish. All right. So uh, now we're going to open this resource manager and uh, select this uh, menu and let's add a new menu resource file. So we're going to name this file uh, delete menu and here uh, we're going to create uh, one menu from uh, for uh, deleting our items or a single item so you will see. So uh, we're going to implement this uh, single menu inside the uh, two fragments inside update fragment and inside the list fragment. So you will see and now let's add uh, this icon show as action if room and let's add the uh, icon uh, tint as well. So this attribute requires you to have a API level 26. So let's change this uh, to 26 Syn uh, sinker project. Okay, and let's get back to our menu. So as you can see, there is no more this warning. Okay, and now open up update fragment. And here uh, we need to add this uh, set has options menu to true. So basically, uh, this will say that uh, we need to add our uh, menu to our action bar. And uh, here we want to override two methods. So first method is called the onCreateOptions menu. And here uh, we want to inflate the layout for our menu. So and uh, down below we need to override a method which will handle uh, clicks on our uh, menu items. So let's add this uh, on options, uh, on options uh, item selected. And here uh, we are going to say if our item ID is equal to this uh, menu delete ID, which is actually the ID of our uh, delete icon and here we want to uh, create a new function and in this function we're going to implement all the logic for uh, deleting our single user okay so to do that uh, we want to create alert dialog builder so basically uh, when our user press uh, or clicks on uh, this uh, delete icon we want to ask the user if the user wants to actually delete this item so we're going to add uh, two buttons uh, one positive button and one negative button so the positive button will will say yes and the negative will say no of course Okay, and uh, down below we're going to use this uh, builder object to uh, set the title. So the title should say something uh, uh, delete and uh, we're going to use a string template to uh, get the reference of our first name from our current user using our args object and uh, down below we're going to set the message. So are you sure you want to delete and uh, again let's use this same uh, string template, the first name of our current user and down below let's just use this create and uh, show method. All right, so uh, before we continue, uh, we need to open up our user DAO and here we need to create uh, two functions for deleting a single, u single user and deleting all users. So there is already predefined annotation for deleting a single user. So uh, you just pass this user as a parameter and uh, for deleting all the users, we need to create a custom query. So this query will say uh, delete from and uh, our name of our table. So this will delete everything from our table. And uh, let's name this function uh, delete all and we're not going to pass anything because we are uh, deleting everything. And of course those two uh, functions uh, have a suspend keyword because they will use uh, uh, Kotlin coroutines in a view model as well. So in a user repository, uh, let's add those two functions here as well. So delete user, okay, and let's uh, use this user DAO to call our delete user. And down below, let's um, create a delete all function. Okay, delete all users. Here we don't pass anything, we just call our delete all users. And now let's open up our uh, view model. So inside the view model we're going to create uh, those two uh, functions as well. But this time in the view model we're going to use a Kotlin coroutine. So use this uh, view model scope and uh, dispatcher IO. So basically we are running our uh, uh, query from a background thread. And uh, let's do that the same for our delete all users function. So let's use a view model scope to run our uh, code inside the background thread and uh, that's it. So we have created all our queries for uh, deleting a single user and deleting all users. So let's close all of that and uh, inside the update fragment uh, we're going to call this uh, delete user uh, function from our uh, view model. So delete user 
and here uh, we're going to pass our current user from our args object okay and this will basically uh, delete our current user from our update fragment and uh, after that we will display a simple toast message saying um, something like uh, successfully removed and we're going to use a string template to get the reference of this um, first name of our current user from args object and let's show this uh, toast message okay so let's uh, reformat this uh, just a little bit okay this is fine and now uh, let's run our application to see uh, if uh, that's going to work okay so select one uh, user from here and uh, as you can see we have our menu so when we click that we can see this message and when we say uh, when we press no nothing happens and uh, when we press yes as you can see we get this message successfully removed the james and uh, as you can see we don't we no longer have our fourth item so uh, i want to add just one more thing so after we have a uh, show to our user this uh, toast message i want to navigate the user from update fragment to a list fragment so this is a little better user experience so let's select this third item so click this delete click yes and as you can see we are navigated back to our uh, list fragment and uh, we no longer see our uh, third item so uh, now we want to implement this uh, uh, delete all uh, function inside our uh, list fragment so let's open up our list fragment and here uh, also we are going to add this uh, set has options many to true like we did in the previous fragment and we are going to override two methods on create options many and we're going to inflate the same menu okay so we don't need to create two different menus this is uh, enough and we will uh, override one more method uh, on uh, options item selected and uh, here we're, we're going to just say if our item id is equal to the id of our menu items and if that's the case uh, we're going to add uh, uh, the logic for uh, deleting all the users so first i want to copy everything from uh, here from our update fragment and i want to paste that uh, in a new method called the delete all users so let's create this function and let's paste this code from our uh, fragment from our update fragment and we're going to just change this uh, uh, method to delete all users and here we're going to delete this we're going to just say say something like uh, remove the everything and uh, down below uh, for the title we're going to say uh, delete everything question mark and for the message we're going to say are you sure you want to delete uh, everything okay and uh, that's basically it so let's uh, okay so we can remove this uh, navigation code because we don't need that at the moment because we are located at uh, list fragment okay so uh, when we run our application it uh, works fine so let's click uh, this menu from our list fragment so as you can see we get the new message and when we press no nothing happens and when we press yes as, as you can see we get this message successfully removed everything and uh, we no longer see anything in our recycle view so uh, that will be all for this um, room database tutorial series i hope you enjoyed uh, please like this uh, video if you find it helpful of course and uh, see you in the next one